Drainage tile, or adding drainage tile, is perhaps the best investment you can make on your farm. If your crop has wet feet, it's going to get hurt, not just this year, but just about every year. And here's the other factor that I always look at. How many times are you gonna get stuck? How many times are you gonna go back and replant? How many times are you gonna mess around with these little areas in fields that are poorly drained? Why not just have it over with and get out there and get some tiling done? Tiling is also great for the environment in terms of water quality issues, but also in soil erosion reduction. It's significant. Yeah, and this is the reason why NRCS in most areas is very supportive, yes I said supportive, of putting drainage tile in the ground. Because once people started to realize, hey, we've got cleaner water coming out of the tile than we do coming off of wetlands, and you know what? We have a lot less erosion when we put the tile in the ground. Just think about it for a second here. Okay, if you've got ground that's 100% saturated and you get a rain, well, where does that rain have to go? It has to run off the field. When it runs off the field, what does it carry with it? Soil, it carries that, that soil, you have erosion. It also takes chemical and fertilizer downstream. Those are all bad things. You don't want those going downstream. Now hold on, they aren't are are bad things well, other than when they're in the stream. Right. They're great things in your field yes. and that's where we want to keep them. Exactly. And if you properly install drainage tile, now you've got the excess water out of the ground. So when you get a rain, it can just soak in nice. You have less erosion. You don't have that chemical and fertilizer getting into the water either because that soil will filter out your water by the time it reaches the drain tile you don't have the, the chemical or fertilizer left. It's clean water coming out that drain tile. Now drainage tile does cost some money. There's no question about it. Whether you hire somebody to do it or you do it yourself, well, that, hey, you're that's, still going to spend some yeah, money. Yeah, you're gonna spend some money, but that's the big thing. I mean, let's just get into this right now. We, we in some cases, do suggest that you have somebody come in and, and put tile in custom for you. But in a lot of cases, you can do this stuff yourself. It's not that tough. You'll only spend about 15, 16 grand for a tile plow and another 8,000 to 10,000 for a guidance system to go along with it. So you can get that money back by just tiling one field yourself. To give you a quick idea, well, I, a lot of custom guys will charge a buck a foot. Well, if you only put in five miles worth of tile, which we can do in a couple of days on our farm, you've got enough to pay for the machine. Brian I, gets pretty fired up about drainage tiles. I was a little nervous even well, talking about it on the show just because I figured, you know, I'm probably not going to get a word in at all. Brian's so fired up. Well, Let's talk about return on investment, Brian, because yeah, okay, for I'll... most farmers, they may say, you know what, I've got some rolling ground. I'm just looking at problem areas. Is there a good return on investment? Well, that's there? really all we have. I mean, we're doing very little pattern tiling on our farm, and already in the last year and a half, we've put in over 50 miles of tile. Okay, that's about 250,000 feet. So as compared to having somebody come out and do that for us custom, we've saved a quarter million dollars, and it cost us a grand total total of like 25,000 to buy the plow and the guidance system. You get a quarter million back on a $25,000 investment in less than two years, that works for me. Here's the other thing though, Brian, it's not just about I've got a quarter million dollars back or that I've earned on this, it's how much yield have I been exactly. losing over the years. Now, if you've got some ground, you say, you know what, I'm not gonna be able to get to it this year or it's gonna take me a while to get all this done. You may be smart just to hire somebody to get it done. Yes, it costs a little bit of money, but you're gonna get return on that investment immediately. In 200 bushel cornfields in Iowa, you've got spots out in the middle of the field that have drowned out and you're going to get nothing. Why well, not put drainage tile well, there and take that zero up to 150 or 200 bushel? It's well, huge. I'll give you an example right off this field right behind us here down in the low ground. And yeah, we didn't tile a lot. We just ran some down through the low grounds, but we were getting 20 to 30 bushel beans in years past. The year after this got tiled, we had 50, 55 bushel beans in the low ground. I mean, instantly we doubled the yields in those areas. That's an awesome thing. And we find a lot of areas of the country have high salt levels, high pH levels, they got major soil problems, those things go away over time when you get proper drainage. As Brian said, you could get a return on investment in one to two years in many cases in these problem areas of fields. If you can't get it done yourself, which is our first choice, just hire somebody, get it done. It's going to pay you for the next 20, 30, maybe well, 50 or 60 For many years. years, that's kind of the way we looked at it is just hire somebody and get it done. But just in the last couple of years, we've got a couple good GPS systems out there. There's AGPS and there's IntelliSlope. These systems will use RTK signals and you will actually be able to control your tile plow using nothing but GPS and these guidance systems. It's awesome. All you do is drive the strip you want to tile, you drop the plow in the ground, away you go, the computer controls the tile plow. It can't get any simpler than that. And RTK guidance has gotten cheaper than ever. It's now $10,000 or less to get set up with RTK which is sub-inch accurate. It's fantastic and it has a lot of purposes on your farm 
in addition to putting in drainage tile. If you're looking for more information on tiling, you can go to our website at agphd.com or you can join us on our farm for a free field day. We'll talk through both tiling and strip till on September 22nd on our farm near Baltic, South Dakota. Well, tiling is a job you can do yourself and so is weed control, especially when you have a tough weed like this week's Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to control it coming up next.